Christian David Randall. How are you? Good morning, sir. You have a red light violation on Allen's Avenue and Ernest Street. Yes, I do. Yeah. It was a right. I made a right turn, but they made a. They flashed me. They flashed you. Yeah, they flashed me. This is a Maryland registration. Yes. Take a look at the video. The light is red. Did you see that? Oh, I see because it was dark. I was new to the area. I'm a college student, so I didn't know. In in, in Maryland and DC is a little bit different, so I wasn't privy to the uh, red light. I mean, right turn laws here. Where do you go to school? I go to Johnson and Wales. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Food and beverage entrepreneurship and beverage service management. Yeah. I came in from DC with my culinary arts degree. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's your dream job? I want to be a director of food and beverage in like a hotel or casino establishment and ultimately use that experience to open up my own cafe. Now in those casinos, right, if you bet a lot of money at the tables that you eat for nothing, right? Well, usually they'll go eat their food first to kind of put some food on their stomach before they consume alcohol. So. The food and beverage department within the, within the hotel or casino is definitely a big money maker. It contributes a lot to their revenue and bottom line. Yeah. Well, he's got it done pretty well. How else is D.C. different than Rhode Island? I, we've, I've never had a, 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 first of all, somebody flash me making the right turn, and I always turn like that. Like, I'll yield instead Forget of completely that, stopping. Though. Quality of life. Oh, how do I enjoy quality of life? Yeah, in Rhode Island. How do you enjoy um, Well, when I'm one, I'm in school, and I'm also a part of a fraternity. So we do a lot of the um, uh, community service and, you know, uplifting the community. Um, yeah, things of that nature. Like we have, matter of fact, I'm, after I leave here, I have an event. I'm hosting at school, a barista event for uh, the college student. I'm teaching them latte art and things of that nature. So, you know, things like that. So you're giving back. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you a break on the red light. Oh, I appreciate that, Your Honor. But it's going to cost you $25 for the ticket. Can you afford that? Okay, yeah. I can pay it. Not today, but I can pay it for sure. So you're broke. Broke is a joke. I'm in college. I'm finding you $25 for the parking ticket. You won't have to pay it. We're going to pay it from the Philomena Fund. Oh. It's a fund that's named after my mom, and it's from donations that are sent to the court. So. Oh, thank you. Okay. So you're a college student. You're giving back. You're... You're very articulate, you're bright, so I think we're gonna reward you uh, for doing that. And you're talking about giving back. I mean, you're yeah. trying to help other people. And that, mm -hmm. that, that's very impressive to me. Yeah, I appreciate that, Young. And you're, you're a young guy, you know? So do you find it rewarding when you help people? I do, I honestly do like helping people, I really do. Give me, like, an, ex give me an example. So growing up, my grandparents were very sick. So I was all, at a young age, I had to kind of like step in and help take care of them when they were sick. And also my mother's a breast cancer survivor. So when she was going through her uh, treatment and her um, surgeries, I was always like the nurse that jumped in and helped her for her home care. And she's good now, like she's much better now. But when she was sick and she had to go through her surgeries, thank God she didn't have to go through chemo or nothing like that. She's had a lot of surgeries, like reconstruction. So I helped her with that and uh, you know, wound care and stuff like that. How many children in your family? I'm a uh, uh, children of two, so I have a brother, yeah. just an older brother, that's it. But I have a lot of um, little cousins that just run around and play and stuff. Okay, so your dream job is? A director of food and beverage within a hotel, casino, or similar establishment. Well, you make a good impression, so maybe as a result of this, you may get a job. You never know. Thank you. I appreciate that. So if you were, if you were interviewing and I was interviewing you, mm -hmm. I was the... Uh, president of the hotel okay right and i would ask you uh, what qualities do you have that could enhance the operation here mm -hmm. what would you I say? Would say that i'm tenacious i'm hard working i would say i'm driven i would say i'm not easily uh i don't easily stray away from a challenge i like a challenge um i'm a team builder i like uplifting the team I consider myself having an internal locus of control. I feel like I can control my environment and not let external factors determine, you know, the success of the operation. Um, yeah. Hired. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See the quirk. Thank you. Oh, you're all set. All right. You're all set. <laughs>